Hi everybody, happy Friday, or happy Saturday, whenever you're watching this. It's Friday morning and I've waited far too long to get this video done, so I have to do it quickly. I've been wanting to do this thing for such a long time because I love movies. I used to go to the Kino, you know, to the movie theater all the time when I was young. In fact, every weekend we would go to the movies. My buddies and I are a date, you know. And, of course, um, I'm still watching movies, doing it here through Netflix and, and so, uh, because of the pandemic and all that garbage. But I've been noticing on my Netflix, Netflix feed that um, the titles are all different, right? They'll suggest a title to me. And I thought, how fun would it be if I looked up some of my favorite movies and see what the German title is and how it's translated and so... Um, so this is what I've done. These are just sort of in a random order. I didn't really didn't really put them down in any specific order. But but first, if you're sorry, if you're new here, my name is Scott. I'm an American, born and, and raised in Chicago. Moved here about five and a half years ago, almost six years ago now. And um, yeah, I love to make these videos and share my experiences and new things I found with you about my new life here in Germany, which is so far pretty friggin awesome <laughs> it's it's a new experience and i love it okay so the title as you saw was funniest german movie titles translated so i came up with 10 and actually i just recounted and there's 11 so there's going to be a bonus one but whatever the first one is actually one of my favorite movies of all time and in german it's called ich tritt ich glaub mich tritt ein pferd which directly translated means, I believe a horse kicked me. Uh, I think that translation means like, wow, what a surprise. Or in America, they say, well, you could have bowled me over. Like, I didn't realize that or something. But I'm not sure, you know, why. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think this is just a cultural difference between those colloquialisms and sayings and things like that. Umgangssprache, street, street language sort of thing. But the real, t or the, the, uh, the English title, not the real title, the English title is Animal House. And I guess that maybe that wouldn't work so well because I don't think you could call it Tear House, which would be Animal House, right? But Tear House might sound like, sounds like maybe a kid's show or something with just a bunch of animals. I'm not sure, but I don't think that would work. But what a great movie. What a great movie. Yeah, you screwed up. You trusted us with the Lincoln. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, you gotta see it. It's really funny. Okay, number two. Now this one I actually really like. Some of these, like I said, are just really, really funny, but this one was pretty good. Jaws. In English, the title is Jaws. But in German, it's Der Weiße Hai, or The White Shark, which really is a pretty good title. I mean, if you called it Jaws in German, I think the word was, what was the word? Kiefer. Kiefer. Just, no. <laughs> because everybody's going to think of jaw, not Jaws, as in, and yeah, that's, a, that's another thing. It doesn't translate well, but Der Weiße Hai, the white shark, there is no question as to what that movie is about. That is a very good title to translate that to. I applaud you for that one. Number three, another one of my all-time favorite movies. I love this movie. Der Blutige Pfad Gottes, or The Bloody Path of God, which at first I thought, that's crazy. Wait, what is the movie? The movie is The Boondock Saints. No, that's not goofy. That's great. <laughs> that's another one. Because these two guys, these two brothers, are on... A mission for God or they believe for God and they're killing everybody right and it's the bloody path of God that's actually also pretty descriptive but again we're seeing the literal the literalness is that a word of the German language they're very literal and but that again I, I, I sort of like that one that fits okay number four this is also one of my favorite movies but um, <laughs> the title in German is hilarious the English version dodgeball 
but the German title just kills me, man. Full auf die Nusse, which means full on the nuts. <laughs> I think, yeah, okay, I get that. That makes perfect sense. Because there are a lot of nut shots in this movie. A lot of guys getting hit right in the, right in the, yeah, in the family jewels, so to speak. I mean, that's hilarious. But I, you have, the funny thing is, too, in Germany, they have um, dodgeball. And I think it's called Volkerbälle. So I'm not sure why they didn't just call it that. But I, I guess Voll auf die Nusse, you know, Full on the Nuts, is a pretty funny title. <laughs> All right. Now, this one I didn't understand at all. I don't get this one at all. Monty Python. I'm a big Monty Python fan. Used to love watching that when I was younger. This one, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, in Germany is called Der Ritter der Kokosnuss, or The Night of the Coconut. Yeah, I'm not getting that at all. Do you like that mug? I designed this one. I sell these. There's a link below just to maybe try and make a little money for the channel because I have some big things coming up. Big things coming up that I would, places that I would like to go and things that I would like to do because things are opening up around here. So I can't wait for that. I'm excited. Back to the list. Number six. This is, a, this is one of my favorite Christmas movies ever. I know that's a hotly debated topic as to whether it really is a Christmas movie, but to me it always will be. Anyway, Sterb Langsam or... Die slowly. The original name, or the English name, uh, is Die Hard. But I don't understand why they didn't just call it Sterb Schwer instead of Sterb Langsam. I don't know. But um, great movie set in the Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> okay. Oh, another funny movie. This is from the late 70s, early 80s, I think. It's called Airplane. Uh, there's a f my favorite line from that movie is where Leslie Nielsen says, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the basketball player, I can't remember his name. He says, Shirley, you can't be serious. And Leslie Nielsen replies, yes, I'm serious, and stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> I'll never forget that as long as I live. I just think that's hilarious. Yes, I'm serious, and stop calling me Shirley. Um, in German, this is called, now get ready for this one, it's a long one. Ver what is this? Oh, Der Ungl I can't even read my own writing. <laughs> Der Unglaubliche Reise in einem verrückter Flugzeug. Or an unbelievable travel in a crazy airplane. Which, yeah, pretty descriptive, pretty literal. <laughs> and I guess it helps sort of describe that a little bit better than just airplane. But I think if you would have seen the trailers on TV and you see the title... I don't think it needs much more explanation than that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I guess Flugzeug, if you, if you titled it just Flugzeug, maybe people would have thought it was a docu, you know, a documentary, so they wouldn't see it. I don't know. Um, okay, number eight. Oh, another funny movie. Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. And shagged meaning doing it, right? Um... I don't know how else to say that. Ah, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Du weißt, was ich meine. The German title is Spion in, in Geheimene Missionär, Missionarstellung, which translates to The Spy Using the Secret Missionary Position. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Shagged maybe just isn't the word here. It really isn't in the U.S. either. That's a British thing, but we got it. I mean, you know, it's pretty hard not to understand that, I think, right? Anyway, number nine. Number nine is interesting because I lived in the city where they made this movie, a little place called Woodstock, Illinois, in the far, far northwest suburbs of Chicago. Far, far northwest suburbs. And when I lived there, it turns out they were making this movie. And the movie was... Tagliche Grüß des Mummeltier, Daily Greetings of the Marmot, and that's Groundhog's Day. So a marmot is actually, I guess, a groundhog. I didn't know that. But yeah, as I said, I, I, they were filming it, and 
um, I went and signed up and they hired me as a uh, extra but unfortunately the scene that I was in got cut it really didn't I was just a mechanic working on a tow truck when the when the when Bill Murray is driving and the and the Mumultier is on the steering wheel and he goes around and there's you see a little white gas station there I'm in that gas station but anyway it didn't work but it was kind of cool you know I, I I got to go on set I got to go in one of those little trailers and they gave me a coffee and a cinnamon roll and it was really neat to see the whole movie making process. Um, Taglicher Grus das Mummeltier, which isn't so bad because, of course, you know, Groundhog's Day, it's every day he wakes up to the same thing. So that sort of makes, that, that makes sense to me. Okay, another one of a, a favorite. Now, this is a real Christmas movie, so to speak. Christmas Vacation. The German title is Hilf, Hilfe es Weihnacht sehr. And I believe that translates to help it's very Christmassy. <laughs> I, okay, yeah, that seems like it sort of fits, I, I guess. A little strange, but yeah. I think Christmas or the Weihnachtsurlaub, maybe that would have worked. I don't know. All right, and the last one, the bonus title, number 11, actually. This is one of my most favorite movies ever. Ever. I know I said that a few times, but this one is, I think, by far just the funniest movie. I just love this thing. And it is called, in German, Ich glaub mich knutscht ein Elch. I believe I smooched a moose. <laughs> or I believe I made out with a moose. I'm like, what? You made out with a moose? What? <laughs> I don't know where that came from because... I'm not even sure there's a moose in the movie at all. Like, I, I really don't. I mean, there's John Candy's character who is called, I think, Ox. But, yeah, Ox. But I don't think there's a moose in the whole movie. I don't know. Maybe I'm forgetting something here. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Here's a funny line from that movie, though. I love this line. When they're at the end of the movie, when they're boom chuckle look like a boom chuckle, and they get up to the thing, he says, Where have you been, son? He says, Training, sir. What kind of training, son? Army training, sir. <laughs> I just, that's just a funny movie. If you haven't seen it, oh, I'm sorry, the English title is called Stripes. And Stripes indicates, you know, you see a soldier and they have stripes on their shoulder or maybe on their hat or on their epaulets. Um, that indicates the rank of that soldier. I don't know what you call that in uh, in German, but yeah, we it, it's known as you know how many stripes does he have? Three stripes, I think, is sergeant, master sergeant, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, I've been dying to share that with you because those are some of my favorite movies, and I think the the translation of these is just hilarious to me. Absolutely hilarious. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Today it's a little cloudy here, um, a little rainy, although yesterday the sun was shining. I hope the sun is shining by you, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.